Today, we are going to find the rotational inertia of a cube. In order to do this, we must break down our cube into slices. Let's analyze one slice. The width and height of the slice is equal to the side length of the cube, which we will call L. We will imagine the depth of the slice to be infinitely small. We will then break down our slice into cubes with an infinitely small height, width, and depth. The distance to a given cube can be found using Pythagoras' theorem and the distances in the x and y direction from the rotational axes to a cube. By integrating this, we find an expression for the sum of the squared distances to each cube from the rotational axis multiplied by the area of the slice. Now let's add all of our slices back. By integrating our expression through our z-axis, we will find an expression for the sum of the squared distance to each cube multiplied by the overall volume of the cube. Rotational inertia is proportional to mass, so we must manipulate our equation so that it includes mass. We do this by multiplying our expression by mass density. Mass density equals the mass of the cube divided by its volume, and the volume of the cube is L cubed. Simplifying gives us the rotational inertia of the cube to be ML squared over 6.